Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let's thank to Allah the Almighty who has given us mercy and blessing so we can be together in this blessing class. And also let's deliver salat and salam to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who has brought us from the darkness to the brightness. The terminology the Quran is the word of Allah Almighty. Send down to the great prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. One of its functions is goodliness, guidance for people on this earth. That's why the rule of Islamic education is as the agent of change that must be able to repair the people's character. As we know that one of moral crises recent occurred in Indonesia is because of losing the noble character. Consequently, we as a young generation have a big question here. How to build the people's noble character to face the moral crisis in our country? Of course, it is very difficult. But the most effective way to improve and to develop the noble character is from improving the way of thinking. Islam is very concerned with education. With the right and qualified education, individuals will be formed, which ultimately led the people into the noble social life. In the rule of Islam, Islamic religious education can be powerful in shaping the character of the people. It seems clear that Islam emphasizes the rule of education in its primary purpose in devotion of law optimally. Characters can be formed through the environment such as family environment in childhood. If just that is so, the human's characters will not be changed easily. However, the opinion could be wrong. If the opinion is right, then the character education is useful because it will not be possible to change the character of the person. Why can Islamic religious education save the people's character? Because education is the main thing for a human life, even human will be as if not human without primary education. For that reason, people must get better education to get a better life and they will reach a better future. Then there will be no better future without having to build the noble character of ourselves. In other words, there is no better future that can be realized without honesty, without self-discipline, without the spirit of learning, without responsibility and without confidence and optimism. So, these are the important rules of education to build the noble character. And then, basic or principal sorts of morals or character is Al-Quran and Al-Hadith. These are the main sorts of Islam. So, the rule of Islam can build a noble character of the people through the Islamic religion education. Then, it will create the good generation with Ahlakul karima. Consequently, this will bring Islam into the glory, especially Indonesia which have many moral crises must develop Islamic religion education because as we know that most of Indonesia people don't have qualified and noble character yet. Then we can conclude that Islamic education is the most important rule for shaping people's noble character. So we can create Islamic generation that will be useful for the religion and the country. Ladies and gentlemen, we must keep our struggle from building ourselves. Albert Einstein the greatest scientist of the 20th century declared, religion without sin is lame and religion without sin is blame. So, let's improve ourselves to be always ready with competition in life. I do beg your pardon for my mistake.
Hopefully, what I have told is useful for us. Thank you for your attention and see you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Saluran pendidikan agama Islam yang konsisten dan merata dinilai dapat membangun karakter bangsa terutama untuk para generasi penerus. Masyarakat yang berkarakter tentu berdampak pada kondisi moral dan etika dalam bermasyarakat. Seperti yang disampaikan Ketua Umum Dewan Pengurus Pusat Hidayatullah, Nasirul Haq usai bertemu wakil Presiden Yusuf Kala Senin pagi di Jakarta. Menurutnya perkembangan pendidikan dan dakwah ajaran Islam harus semakin ditingkatkan. Menurut Nasirul, daerah-daerah pelosok di Indonesia masih belum mendapatkan pencerahan secara maksimal. Untuk itu, DPP Hidayatullah melalui para kadernya terus mendorong pendidikan dan dakwah di daerah pelosok. Yau, bagaimana pendidikan Islam ini menjadi pendidikan yang unggul, ya, menjadi uh, pilihan ya bagi masyarakat, pendidikan yang diharapkan melahirkan generasi-generasi yang berkarakter, ya, sesuai dengan cita-cita bangsa Indonesia. Nasirul Haq melanjutkan selain mengembangkan dakwah secara merata, yang harus menjadi fokus adalah bidang ekonomi dan sosial. Menurutnya jika semua hal tersebut terpenuhi, maka akan mengurangi masalah sosial di dalam lingkungan masyarakat, serta mencegah masuknya paham-paham yang bertentangan dengan Pancasila. Dari Jakarta, Amir Musa, Sintia Gesino, Kantor Berita Antara, Muartakan.